Hey guys, number three, 2017. So before I begin this problem, I want to just show you something down here. Okay, this part here, um, I have string P equals computer science. And I wanted to remind you guys that if you have P dot substring with two numbers, um, so in this case, zero comma four, um, what we're going to do, it, what this does here is it goes from 0 to 3. So it gives you this. So this part here will print out C-O-M-P. And then this part here, because um, remember it goes, it goes from N minus, it goes up to N minus 1 there. And then here, it just picks up from 4. And because it doesn't have anything afterwards, after the 4, then what what's going to happen is that it just goes from four on. So this is going to be um, uter. That's a plus sign. Science. Okay. So um, in other words, this whole thing gives you the exact word. So I just want to remind you guys that this is from zero to n minus one. And this is just from n onwards. Great. I'm going to start with the example here because I want to show you what they're going to do. And then we can come back to this problem. Okay. So, in this problem, they say, in part 8, rather, write the phrase method replace nth occurrence, which will replace the nth occurrence of the string str with repl. If the nth occurrence does not exist, the current phrase remains unchanged. Here are some examples. So, let's take a look at this example. You have this phrase. Um, we need the yellow highlighter. We have this phrase 1 that says a cat ate late. And what, what's happening in this case is if you call this method, dot rep, uh, the method replace nth occurrence, this is going to be your string, and this is going to be what you're going to replace it with. You want the first occurrence of it. So when do you first see at? Well, we see at right here for the first time. Sorry about the C. So you're going to replace it with rain. So instead of saying a cat ate late, it says a crane ate late. So it just replaces that str with um, repl, okay? Let's look at another example. A cat ate late. It wants to replace at with xx, but at the sixth occurrence. So I have one, two, three and since it, I can't get to the sixth one it remains exactly the same let's try another one bat two xx it's looking for the second time you see bat but we never see bat at all so it stays exactly the same here you're going to replace aa with xx the first time you see aa the first time you see aa is right there so we're going to replace it with xx and then aa, okay? And finally, this here says replace aa with bbb the second time you see aa. So this is the first time you see aa, and then let me just grab a different color. The second time you see aa is right there. So we have a, bbb, a. So that's what they want you to do for part a. So let's take a look at how to do it, but we need to just uh, figure out what they gave us. So it says the question involves analyzing and modifying a string. The following phrase class maintains a phrase in an instance variable and has methods that access and makes changes to the phrase. You will write two methods of the phrase class. Okay, so um, we have this class phrase, we have this current phrase. Um, that's wonderful. We're going to need that. And we have our constructor, um, great. Now, this part here, public int find the nth occurrence, it basically is gonna take two parameters, a string and an integer, returns the index of the nth occurrence of the string in the current phrase, returns negative one if the nth occurrence does not exist. Okay, you want the current phrase is not modified as your post condition if it gives you negative one and so on. So we have this guy here and 
we're going to have to use him, okay? Um, but we didn't get to the part where it says, let's use part, let's implement part A. So now I'm going to get there. So remember, this will be string and the N. So here, if you think about it, it's going to be this guy here and this guy here, okay? And look what it's returning. This is very important for our answer. It returns the int, 